no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff, you're going to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today, I want to go over to you guys a common muscle imbalance that can occur between your gluteus maximus, your largest butt muscle, right there, and your piriformis, a smaller muscle in your butt. And this is due to a sedentary lifestyle that so many of us have. We're just sitting for hours each day, and when you're, when you're in a sitting position, and you're sitting, your butt is in a lengthened position because your gluteus maximus muscle, its job is to do hip extension or bring your leg behind your body. So it brings your leg behind your body like that, and it extends it back like that. And it's also the strongest hip external rotator muscle in your body, meaning it rotates your leg out like that to prevent your knees from caving inwards like that. And your piriformis muscle, it also does that action, external rotation of your hip to prevent your knees from caving in while you're doing things like walking. And so when you're sitting for hours a day, you're not, losing, you're not using your gluteus maximus, what can happen is your piriformis is gonna overwork and it's gonna overfire to pick up the slack from the muscle that's not doing enough of the job. And so what can happen from here is that the piriformis muscle can get inflamed and it can get enlarged. And this is a big problem because it can lead to something referred to as piriformis syndrome. Because the largest nerve in your body, the sciatic nerve, it runs underneath or directly through the piriformis muscle. And when your piriformis is inflamed, it can begin to encroach upon that sciatic nerve and press on it. And now you can get symptoms of sciatica because it has branches all the way down to your feet. Now you can get symptoms like pain, tingling, numbness, burning, electric feelings, going all the way down your feet, which definitely isn't pleasant. So you don't want that to happen to you. You don't want the piriformis muscle to pick up so much slack from the gluteus maximus due to you being inactive and not exercising. So what should you do? Essentially, you should try to get up from the chair more often, like every hour. Just try to walk around, do some sit to stands in your chair, just sit up, go sit down, sit up, sit down, things like that. Every hour, do some of that and you want to exercise, try doing squats, do it with good form, except try going below parallel. When you go below parallel on squats, you're using your gluteus maximus muscle significantly more. So try to go below parallel, do lunges, that's gonna help you. Try to do leg presses are another good exercise to do. As long as you don't have pain, you do it with good form, all that is good, and it's gonna to help to build up that muscle so the piriformis doesn't have to pick up the slack, and then you could potentially get piriformis syndrome where you get sciatica, so you don't want that. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thumb it up, comment, subscribe, and once again as a reminder, I also have to link uh, posture tips down in the description below. You go check that out. One video a week you'll get from me, and I think that'll help you. So anyways, this has been Jeff once more. Do all what I just said, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>